Hi all. In my previous video, I have already discussed about the morphological and anatomical features of a genus coming under the gymnosperm, Pinus. And in this video, I am going to talk about the reproduction in Pinus. The URL for morphological and anatomical feature of Pinus is available in description. Now, I am talking about the reproduction in Pinus. In Pinus, the reproduction take place by means of spores. And these spores are developed in sporangia situated in sporophylls. That is, the spores are produced in sporangia situated on the sporophyll. And numerous sporophylls are grouped to form cones or strobilus. S-T-R-O-B-I-L-U-S. Thus, the cones or the strobilus are acting as the reproductive structures in the case of pinus. I have already told you that pinus plan body is sporophytic and is monoecious. That is, the male and female cones are developed on the same plant. Here, the male cone is developing much earlier than the female cone. The structure of male cone. The male cones are produced during the spring season and are very smaller in size ranging from 1.5 to 2.5 centimeters in length. They are produced in clusters near the tip of long shoot and are produced in the axils of the scale leaves on the long shoot. Thus, it will replace the dwarf shoot of the long shoot. The male cones are ovoid in shape and it consists of a central axis and microsporophylls. See, in this picture, you can see the structure of male cone. Here you can see a central axis. See, this is the central axis. So, the male cone consists of a central axis and on the central axis, microsporophylls are spirally arranged. These are the microsporophylls. These brown colored structure having an yellow pouch are the microsporophylls. Structurally, this microsporophyll can be compared with the stamen of a angiosperm. That is, it is having stalk at the basal region and a leaf-like projection at the apical region. And this leaf-like projection is known as apophysis. A-P-O-P-H-Y-F-S-I-S. Apophysis. And in the middle portion, it carries microsporangia these are the two microsporangia that is the lower and the upper region this lower and upper region of the microsporophyll will be sterile and the fertile region is the middle portion this middle portion only will be the fertile region here also you can see the structure of microsporophyll here this this is a boat shaped structure having a projection and this upper projection is known as apophysis. This is the upper surface, upper surface that is adaxial surface and this is the lower surface or the abaxial surface and these microsporangia is situated on the abaxial surface of the microsporophyll 
and each microsporangia carries numerous microspores and these microspores are otherwise known as the pollen grain such a numerous microsporophylls are arranged in a spiral manner around the central axis in the case of male cone this is all about the structure of male cone now moving on to the structure of pollen grains each microspore or pollen grain is rounded and yellow colored these are uni nucleate structure with the two outer coverings it is having a thick exine outside it is having a thick exine outside and a thin intine inside the exine protrude out on two sides in the form of two balloon shaped structure see this is the extension of exine that is the exine protrude out on two sides in the form of two balloon shaped structure called as wings thus the pollen grains in pinus are winged and it is helping in floating and dispersal of pollen grain with the help of wind in some cases few microsporophyll present on the lower side of the cone are sterile that is they are not having the sporangia here you can see the sporangia but in some cases the few microsporophylls at the lower side are lower side of the cone are sterile that is it is not having the sporangia this is all about the structure of micro sporophyll and a, a male cone structure of female cone female cone develops either solitary or in groups of 2 to 4 they also develops in the axils of the scale leaves on the long shoot like uh, the male cones each female cone is ovoid in shape when it is young but it elongates and on maturity it is attaining a cylindrical shape here you can see the female cone which are produced on the long shoot now moving on to the structure of female cone the female cone also carries a central axis see this is the central axis and numerous megasporophylls are arranged spirally on the central axis here the megasporophyll towards the apex and uh, towards the basal region will be sterile and will be smaller in size but in the middle region it it is having larger in size and uh, it uh, tapers towards the both sides that is the size of the megasporophyll taper towards the upper and lower side of the female cone and in the middle region it is having larger size megasporophylls thus it is attaining the shape of a cylinder or oval in shape each megasporophyll consists of two scales they are oviliferous scale first one oviliferous scale and the second one is bract scale here you can see the oviliferous scale and the bract scale on the megasporophyll see this is the megasporophyll and this lower smaller one is the bract scale and the larger one is the oviliferous scale here you can see a megasporophyll 
this is a megasporophyll and on the upper surface of the ovuliferous scale you can see two ovules the first ovule and the second ovule thus on the upper surface of the megasporophyll on ovuliferous scale you can see two ovules the ovules are orthotropous and it carries a central nucellus see this is the nucellus central nucellus and this central nucellus is surrounded by the integument and this integument consists of three layers they are outer and inner fleshy layer and a middle stony layer it is having a middle stony layer and an outer and inner fleshy layer the central region is occupied by the female gametophyte and the uh, new cells the integument opens outside through a small opening known as micropyle just below the micropyle you can see a pollen chamber this is the pollen chamber for collecting the pollen grains just opposite to the pollen chamber there are two archegonia see these are the two archegonia carrying egg this is all about the structure of megaspore or ovule the ovules are otherwise known as megaspore megaspore or ovules and these ovules are situated on the ovuliferous scale that is on the upper surface of ovuliferous scale this is all about the structure of female cone once again have a look into the structure of female cone that is already i have told you it is having a central axis and numerous megasporophylls are arranged spirally on the central axis here you can see the ovuliferous scale and the bract scale this is the ovuliferous scale and this smaller one is the bract scale and these ovuliferous scale and bract scale all together constitute a mega sporophyll and on the upper surface of this mega sporophyll the ovules are seen you can see two ovules on the upper surface of the ovuliferous scale in the mega sporophyll and this is all about the structure of the female cone in pinus in pinus the pollination is affected by wind so it is known as anemophilus the balloon like wings of the pollen grain aid them to reach the ovule usually the pollination occur towards the end of may when the pollen grains are liberated in large quantity from microsporangia of male flowers i have already told you that uh, the pollen grains are having yellow in color and when these yellow colored pollen grains are liberated in large quantity it will look like a yellow cloud it look like yellow cloud so they are also known as sulfur shower in this image you can see the yellow cloud of pollen grain liberated from the microsporangia the microsporangia is having a slit see longitudinal slit and through this longitudinal slit the pollen grains are getting liberated once the fertilization is over the ovule develop into a seed you can see the structure of a seed here 
द सेंट्रली लोकेटेड एम्ब्रियो दिस इज द एम्ब्रियो एम्ब्रियो इज एम्बेडेड इन द एंडोस्पर्म दिस स्पेस इज नोन एज द एंडोस्पर्म एंड जस्ट आउटर टू द एंडोस्पर्म यू कैन सी अ थिन लेयर ऑफ पेरीस्पर्म पेरीस्पर्म that is these are the remnants of nucellus the outermost layer that is the seed is covered by testa on the testa the seed has a thin membranous wing which is derived from the surface of ovuliferous scale the wing help in the dispersal of the seed this is all about the structure of the seed here you can see the various stages in the germination of the seed in pinus this is all about the reproduction in pinus happy learning bye